I've heard great things about the work that you are doing here to boost coffee productivity. Uh, and so it's a pleasure to witness it at first hand. It's a key industry for Kenya uh, and you're one of your most important agricultural export products. Um, the EU un understands these vital facts. And through our various initiatives, we have shown our commitment to enhancing the performance of Kenya's coffee sector in order to increase its productivity, but also your competitiveness in the marketplace. And uh, I have just a few messages that I want to briefly mention. Uh, firstly, as you know, the EU has been a, a very important importer of African coffee for a very long time. And the high quality of the Arabica coffee produced in Kenya is appreciated by coffee importers throughout the European Union. And maintaining this high quality, of course, is very important uh, in order to maintain the status of Kenyan coffee and its export market and its export potential. Uh, secondly, the European Union has supported the agricultural research in Kenya for uh, many years. In particular, support for coffee research in Kenya has contributed to the, the development and dissemination of two new coffee rust disease resistant coffee varieties, Batian and Ruru. Uh, am I right on that one? <laughs> Yes, uh, Ruru, yes. So we, b we look ourselves in the EU as your strategic partners, uh, and we support Kenya's aim to restore coffee production to your 1990 levels. And to achieve this objective, Kenya will need to focus on a few things, like improving husbandry practices, including the use of fertilizers, promoting the use of improved varieties, and supporting small-scale producers. Uh, and uh, the small-scale producers, of course, represent the majority of coffee producers in Kenya, but are more susceptible to the shocks in the economy, of course, and climate-related shocks. So now that we have a Paris Agreement, we have no more worries, of course, in China. <laughs> so it'll obviously take some time for implementation. Uh, but we are available to help in any way we can with access to finance, uh, education about f farm inputs, uh, you know, labour relationships and all of these issues that are important constraints for your small producers at the moment. Um, we want to strengthen the resilience and performance of small-scale coffee producers as well, uh, and to do so in an environmentally friendly manner. Uh, and the creation of strong and viable farmer associations is an important step in order to help you to produce, for to develop producer organisations, cooperatives. Uh, and this is a practice that we have under our rural development programs in the European Union. So we, are, we will be available through our EU delegation office to assist you in, 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 in the uh, manner in which you go about establishing these new structures so that you're able to market your products better. We believe strong cooperation and strong cooperatives form the basic structures for improved marketing, for farm input supply and for financial assistance through effective democratic structures. Um, coffee research will have to strengthen and deepen in order to improve your productivity and production, but you know that better than anybody. But this, in turn, will maintain the high quality of your coffee that's produced here in Kenya. Most of our scientists uh, have uh, gone through some trainings in high-level um, uh, laboratories in Europe, or also the local international laboratories like International Livestock Research Institute, um, our Kenya National Museum, they have very good labs, and the universities. Uh, in the new organization, then the scope is wider than what we are in a, a foundation, because the other organizations are within us, or those who are doing like veterinary science, sometimes you want their lab just to do some bit of the DNA in a, a different method. So we appreciate uh, in a way that we may not be able to express in simple words. Uh, on our own behalf as an institute, uh, the government, and uh, most of all the stakeholders who are the uh, farmers, the main, the main ones, and particularly the small-scale farmers you mentioned are the major ones, and uh, who would look for a, a cheaper way of production of coffee, uh, which meets the market demands and uh, sustains the market, market access. It is important that Kenya <coughs> finds uh, and can enter the market uh, with, with good quality coffee, coffee that is resistant to the diseases that, that are uh, affecting uh, the coffee, but that also, uh, coffee that is also to the taste of the European uh, market. So there's a lot of research to be done and we congratulate you. For 
I mean, the, the areas around Nairobi, we see the coffee disappearing very fast. Yes. So it would be interesting to see as well whether you're developing, for example, new areas and how how that impacts the overall production of Kenya and whether you find actually agriculture or farmers willing to develop new plots of land or whether there is actually land available for new coffee farming. So maybe that 